Hi everyone, I'm finally going to get to do this video. I did film my 8 week update yesterday when I was 8 weeks and the sound and the video was all out of sync and I just couldn't get it to work, it drove me crazy. Anyway, I am 8 weeks and 1 day pregnant today. Um, Izzy is just taking a nap and right, I'm just going to get on and do this as quickly as I can. Um, this week has been the worst week for sickness by far. Um, although the past few days I've been feeling a lot better, today I haven't really felt sick yet, so fingers crossed it's all going to start easing off now. But um, last week, well earlier this week, I was so poorly, I just, I was begging, I was just throw up, um, I just needed some kind of relief. Um, I haven't been eating enough, I haven't been doing anything, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I want to blitz the house because... I haven't been cleaning all week and I just feel strange. I'm a bit of a clean freak. So <laughs> I'm going to try and get everything done today, but I need to take it easy as well. Um, I have my scan tomorrow, my eight week scan. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'm, I'm still nervous because obviously we didn't see a heartbeat last time we were there. So part of me is just holding back and being really worried about it. And then most of me is just really excited to see baby. Um, I'm pretty sure everything will be fine just because of all the symptoms I've been having. Um, I doubt I'd be having those if I, if anything had happened to baby. So yes, I'll make sure that I upload a picture to my Facebook page tomorrow as soon as I can. So if you go and like that, you won't have to wait until next week to see the little baby. I haven't so much had cravings this week as food aversions. <laughs> I hate some stuff I just hate now. Um, I hate fish fingers, eggs, vegetable soup and curry. I just, everything about them, the smell, the taste, the texture, the way they look. Um, just thinking about eating them makes me feel nauseous. Um, I don't know why they're things I would normally like. Vegetable soup used to be one of my favourite meals and I just, you'd have to pay me a lot of money to eat that now and um, unfortunately it's one of Izzy likes everything there. She loves fish fingers and oh god, just <laughs> thankfully I've been lucky enough to have people around to feed her her meals instead of me doing it. Um, although some days no one's been here, so I've just had to suck it up and give her a dinner, and it's just not fun at all. Earlier this week, like right at the beginning of the week, um, I was having some really low back pain. Um, not oh, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like. Just like period cramps, really low down on my back. Um, I never get cramp on my back, so I was really concerned. But um, I googled it, as I do <laughs> most things, and I just found that it's quite common, um, especially in second pregnancies. And it's also due to all your joints loosening up. So trying to relax about that. Um, as I've said before, I really hate early pregnancy because of all the aches and pains and cramps that you get. It's really scary, it's really worrying because most of the time I just feel like I'm going to come on a period so yeah it's not fun. <laughs> I just really want to reach 12 weeks and then I feel like I might be able to breathe a little bit then. Everyone is convinced that I'm having a boy um, mainly because my pregnancy this time is so different to last time. Um, I'm still not sure, I don't really, I'm not really swayed either way. I don't have any kind of inkling or anything like that. Um, but yeah, everyone thinks I'm having a boy, so who knows. Cravings this week, um, I have my normal orange juice craving that still hasn't gone away. And I am loving salad. I could eat salad for every meal, every day. It's so good. Um, salad, and I like tagliatelle pasta with this cheese sauce and just that. Nothing else in it, and it's just the best meal ever. I can eat that if I feel sick or if I don't, it's just great. So we've been food shopping today. Um, we're just going to pop to Asda and get some more bits and bobs and I'm going to make sure I get all my favourite stuff from there. So I'm stocked up for the week. My eczema has been so bad like this week. It's, it's crazy. On my arms, it's not bad. You can't even see that. It's just really dry skin. Um, but my legs are awful. Um, I usually use a Hydrus cream and a steroid cream, but of course I can't use my steroid cream now, so I'm really suffering with that. I can't seem to find anything that's working, so I'm going to take a trip to the doctor soon and see if they can prescribe me anything similar, but that will be safe. Um, another thing I was worrying about taking 
or doing while I'm pregnant is dyeing my hair. I don't know if you can see, but the top of my roots are like a really dark, ashy blonde, and it's just really dull. I really feel like I need some highlights through, but I've been kind of hesitant to do that. Um, I didn't know if I should just wait. But uh, one of the ladies on my trying to conceive group, which is now not really a trying to conceive group because you're all, nearly all pregnant, um, she said she's a hairdresser and that it's perfectly fine because they've changed the chemicals in Dino. So I might do that today as well. I'm not sure. I might still just wait. Peace of mind. I haven't been sleeping well. Um, I don't know why. It's not because I can't get comfy. Um, it's not because, it's definitely not because I'm not tired. I'm so tired that I just, some days I wake up in the morning and I just feel like I've dozed all night. It's really frustrating. Um, and of course when I need to get up, that's the time when I can fall into a deep sleep. So I'm really hoping that changes soon. Luckily, I have Andy, he's been fantastic. He's been so helpful. He's been getting up in the mornings. Um, I've had lots of lions. He's really been looking after me. And I'm so lucky to have him around and all my family because they've just been brilliant. I think that's everything. I'm not sure. I make no sense. My brain just needs to frazzle. Right, and finally, I have measuring tape. At last, Izzy ate my last one, but now I have one. I think in my five week pregnant video, I was. I think it was. It was either 30 or 31 inches. I can't remember. I had a look last night, I can't remember now. But anyway, that was when I didn't have a bump, so I'm going to measure it now. I haven't measured it for three weeks, so we'll see how much I've grown in three weeks. Okay, so with the shirt on, um, I always think I look bigger with clothes on. Not if I don't do that, I mean, I can probably I can hide it. I'm managing to hide it in certain tops, but um, you can see that I'm not as slim as I normally am. Then with the shirt up, Oh my god, I'm trying to do it. And it's all hard. You see like the lines here. God knows how big I'm going to be at 20 weeks. I already feel like I'm as big as I was with this at 20 weeks. Measure it now. And this is with an empty stomach because I haven't come up in it yet. <laughs> 34 and a half inches. So I have grown that much in three weeks. Oh dear. Uh, I wonder if it is twins and I just missed one. Right. Uh, yes, I think that's everything. So I will see you all for week nine. Um, I uploaded a belly shot to my Facebook page last night, um, so you can go and check that out if you want to, I'll leave a link below. And yeah, that's everything, so I'll see you soon guys, bye!